Now, where is that damn Anita when you need her? Oh, hi. How are ya? Welcome back to the Dufay channel. And girl, I tried my best to give you guys what I thought I had in my house for the Cruella Disney movie 2021. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I can't. Today we're going to be talking about the movie as well as we're going to be talking about a different couple of looks that we've created today for the film. This is the inspired look on, if you've seen the film, where she kind of comes to realization that, you know, Deville is her last name. She's on a rooftop and she has a very beautiful gray smoky eye and this really deep plum type of lipstick. And it's just so, so beautiful. One of my favorite looks period from the movie. And today, all of the eye looks we've created are gonna be done with the Cremated by Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. You know, I've had this ever since it came out and I just, I wanted to do a review on it, but then I also wanted to, to be meaningful, a meaningful review, right? Because I know this is a very controversial palette, very beautiful palette, but it's very, very controversial, um, which we'll actually talk a little bit about. But girl, I said, this is the time, this is the opportunity. I thought of no other palette than the Cremated by Jeffree Star Cosmetics when I saw the Cruella film. And I am so excited to bring to you guys the smoky cat eye reverse moment fantasy. Quality of the palette is incredible. As always, you know, Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star. He does what he does, whether you like him or whether you don't. So let's talk about packaging first. I love the marbled effect and I love the fact that you can see through the actual cremated name. In the back here, you have the Jeffree Star logo. I believe, um, as usual, they, they always create a custom type of star back here, but it gives you essentially all the ingredients. If you don't know this, essentially, every Jeffree Star product or every Jeffree Star eyeshadow is a different formula, which is really, really nice. This is actually a first where he comes out in his design. Lipstick Nick uh, did this incredible artistry work. She's so incredibly talented and I just honestly, I'm gagged, gooped, uh, you know, I can't. I, I, I just am so shocked of how incredible her hands are. This is all hand painted. You know, she created it from literally start to finish and it just looks so, so incredible. Um, it would be so incredible to work one day, you know, alongside with her. But yeah, this actually is an actual heavy palette. Out of all of the other palettes that I have from him, uh, this is one of the heaviest that I have. They have a lot of colors in this one. Let me open her up here. Of course, as you know, you have the mirror. Something that I really like about this particular palette is that you can completely fold it back. It, you know, it folds really nicely and comfortably. And I just, I'm so mesmerized every single time I look at these beautiful colors. I think this is such a beautiful palette. It's definitely cool tones, but you have a little bit of everything. I think you have a good amount of browns. You have incredible metallics like this one, the bottom one that I'm holding here. You can see I accidentally touched it, but beautiful, beautiful pigments. I wanna go ahead and swatch a couple of them. There's a lot to go here, but this is one of, the, I can't. Like, look at how beautiful this is. This one's called Diamond Ashes. Just so, so beautiful. I have a little bit of that in my inner corner. Let's do another metallic. Another one that calls my life is literally all of them. But Paula Paul Bearer, I have no idea what that is. Uh, I'm, I'm sure one day we'll know. Uh, but that's this gun metal. Oh, so gorgeous. So, so reflective. Like, it's just incredible quality. I mean, I, I gotta be honest with you. Let's do one more. It's called Angel of Death. This is a really interesting kind of like charcoal blue uh, undertone and it's just like so buttery. They're just so reflective and so beautiful. Honestly, if you love smoky eyes, if you like nude tones, she's your girl. She's your girl and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, 
I the quality is there. You know what I'm saying? It was very easy to work with. It was just very light. You know, I didn't need to hassle and finesse a lot. It wasn't patchy. It was very, very pigmented. It is $58 and has 24 shades. If we subdivide that, essentially we have $2.41 a shade, which is so, so affordable. I gotta tell you that I really am a fan of Jeffree Star Cosmetics because of the innovation, because of the thought process and the formulation behind it. I mean, I gotta tell you that the quality of the actual shadows are here. One of the ones that I wanna show you is the actual black to show you how creamy the black is. Just very, very nice. Like, has a little bit of glitter reflect on it, but it's just like swoopy hello. So gorge. Let's do another matte. Let's see here, the white. Let's, they have a white. I'm trying to find a clean finger here. This is called Death Blow which is, you know, very, very white. I want to compare it. I'm going to grab it really quick and I want to compare it. This is Death Blow right here. Let me grab my Blood Sugar palette. I know that had like the iconic white. Let's see if that's whiter or maybe stronger or less strong. I've got the Blood Sugar here. This is one of pretty much that started everything. I'm going to open it up here and I know they have this incredible white. Um, and it's called glucose. Let's see here if glucose is lighter or brighter or that's glucose right there. And this is death blow. Now I feel like glucose is white. It's like a really white palette, um, a really white shadow, but I feel like death blow has a little bit more of a cream gray undertone. And definitely this has more of a richness payoff. Let me see, let me do a second little swatch here on Death Blow on top just to ensure. Yeah, she, for whatever reason, she's just a little creamier, but you can see this is more starch white or stark white. And this is more of like a creamy gray, which is still really beautiful. Quality and payoff worked really, really nicely as well. I gotta tell you, um, I really enjoyed this palette. I think it's it's very versatile. It has a lot of diversity within its tones and its glitters. Um, I love the imagery of it. I think it's just really, really beautiful. And I mean, what can I say? I, I didn't expect less from Jeffree Star. For the price point, again, you know, this guy is $58. It's it, it better work, right? But. I just, I never question that, you know, I, I always go forward knowing that I'm going to have a luxury at a really great price product in my hands when I work with Jeffree Star. So I got to tell you, I absolutely love, you know, the cremated, even though the cremated was definitely very controversial because it came out in the moment where the pandemic of 2020 was kind of at its like biggest roar. And Jeffree Star, as he claims, he needed to make a business decision, whether it was to keep the product and have it aged and sell it to, to the customer aged or continue. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses, you know, suffered a lot of um, loss because of this pandemic. So, you know, to each their own. And if you if you feel like it's a good product for you, I mean, I got to tell you, as an influencer, as someone who works with different palettes, I gotta tell you, I always love the product because of the quality of it. So all things aside, Jeffree Star, I love this product. And I, I wanna give you guys more Cruella base because that's what we're here for. Now, where the hell is Anita? I don't know, but you are here, girl. And let's make sure you subscribe so when Anita comes back, you see the good tea. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get, again, inspired by the scene on top of the roof loved that makeup i feel like in that movie makeup was really really like in your face very vibrant um even though it was a lot of smokiness a lot of dark tones it was just very very loud and i mean definitely i think that's the personality of cruella loving in my opinion i've been a fan of the 101 dalmatians since literally i was a little boy 
I had, I saw a sitcom, I saw several of the movies, I, I owned a lot of like, um, <laughs> a lot of pretty much everything that they had come out. I just really loved the 101 Dalmatians. I love dogs. And I remember that when the first movie came out, um, and I saw it, I don't know if I, I know it's, it's a, it's an old movie, but I, when I saw it and fell in love with it, I wanted, um, a Dalmatian dog so bad. And my mom's like, no, they lose the scent on their nose. I don't know if this is true. And apparently they get aggressive. I was like, oh, but still I really wanted one. When I think of the first film, I can always remember, I don't remember the puppy's name, but I remember when they're watching TV and this little puppy is just like two paws on the TV and it's just so much fun and so innocent and I absolutely love it. Also, I the flashbacks I get is Cruella driving her mega crazy car like a maniac in the snow and it was so scary. So she's definitely an OG villain and I absolutely loved the fact that they created a film uh, and I love the fact that, furthermore, that they created a film, I love the fact that they're giving Cruella and a lot of villains a voice and, and a background story of, of, are you misunderstood or are you really nasty and evil, you know? So I'm really happy that I got to see the movie. It's one of my personal favorite Disney live action films to date. They are rumoring that they are keeping uh, a second part to the film. However, we'll see how that works. How do I feel about Emma Stone playing it? I feel like she's amazing. You know, she does an incredible job and she took it very seriously. Would I want it a little bit more? Yes, I feel like when I saw the previews at first, I was like, hmm, this looks very Harley Quinny, you know, very much so that in t that environment of film that is so popular nowadays. But as I kind of got to see the film, it's completely different. If you haven't seen the film, I'm not gonna give you some spoilers, girl, but it's completely different and it's a lot of fun. So I gotta tell you, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm so inspired by the film. I think that, you know, Emma Stone did a wonderful job as she always does, but I gotta tell you, I feel like I would have expected and wished a little bit more I don't know, maybe over the board crazy or just a little bit more intensity. We just have such an expectation of Cruella de Vil where, you know, the films, the original films, the animated films, and then they made, what was it? The, I don't remember the actor's name. I think it's like Len Coco or something, Lenko, something like that. Honey, sorry, no shade, but it is what it is. Um, and I remember I saw those as well and, you know, great movies. So I kind of wanted, you know, that kind of craziness. Now, overall, I really loved it. I gotta tell you. But girl, I'm gonna talk the whole video looking like this. No, honey, let me snap my fingers and get on my Cruella red lipstick moment. Much better. Now, as I was saying, I definitely really enjoyed the movie. I wanna tell you really quickly on this guy. You know, it worked really well. I did notice a lot of fallout within the actual palette, but I didn't really notice it on my face, which was really lovely because especially working with cooler gray to deeper, darker black tones, that could be an issue because it can create a lot of muddiness, but I didn't experience that whatsoever with this. So overall with the cremated, I highly recommend if you're looking for something that it's wanting to target more of the sultriness, the smokiness, um, you know, the grudge and the edge and just deliciousness. It's a great palette for that. So girl, when I first saw this in the movie, I was like, that is so cool. I love the fact that, you know, they created like this almost Batman inspired mask and they wrote the future. Like, I mean, it was actually a little bit hard to get it as bright and, you know, and, and so I feel like I need a couple of more tries before I get the perfect lettering. But overall, I think this looks incredible. And I'm so, so excited to continue to bring this types of content with you guys. I really wanted to create something. I really wanted to create something different. I've seen a couple of videos and I think everybody who's had a take of it, it's a different take. So I hope you guys enjoyed my experience. You know, again, I, if you haven't seen the movie, 
I highly recommend you to do so. I definitely reignited my love for the 101 Dalmatians films down to now Cruella 2021. Incredible. I absolutely enjoyed creating this with you guys and for you guys. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us immensely. And it really gives us a purpose of doing this because, you know, that's what we're here for. And of course, hit the thumbs up, the notification bell. And honey, I need a girl. Tell him to binge watch. It is a thing. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.